All right, one more tutorial where I talk about the parameters and ways to access this in your uh, resource classes. And in the next tutorial, we're gonna move on to more API stuff. But this is something that would be handy when you're working with a lot of these parameters. So here you see all these annotations to your uh, arguments in your controller method. This can be a bit tedious. If you're accessing, let's say, three matrix params, five different header params, and two cookie params. You have a method which is like a bunch of all these arguments with a bunch of annotations. It's not going to look really good. So uh, the other challenge here is when you access something, you need to know what the name is. For example, for cookie param, right? So you want to access the value of the cookie with the name name. So you need to know beforehand that there is a cookie with that name. What if you don't know? What if you want to get all the cookies? What if you want to get all the headers and see what to do based on that? Uh, to, do, uh, to do that kind of stuff, there is one more way in which you can access those parameters, and that is using the context. So I'm going to create one more demo method over here to demonstrate a way to access these uh, values using the context. I'm going to create one more URL endpoint, which is inject demo slash context. And here I'm going to create another method. I'm going to call this get params using context. And uh, I'm just going to return some test value here. Again, we're just going to return whatever we get so that we can test this, test this thing out. All right, so the way to access the context is by annotating a variable, an argument with the add context. The add context can be annotated to special types of arguments. Now these add matrix, header, cookie, this can be annotated to any primitive value, right? And uh, Jersey is doing the conversion and it's gonna assign the value. But the add context is a unique uh, annotation and this can be annotated to only a few special types. So the first special type that I'm gonna talk about is called URI info. And uh, call this URI info. Now the URI info is a class from WSRS core. The add context is from the same, you know, from the same package. But uh, this is a special annotation that applies to a few classes, one of them being URI info. Now what this does is if you have this method argument with this annotation, what Jersey does is it says, hey, this needs URI info to be injected and it's gonna inject an instance of URI info. URI info, true to its name, contains a lot of information about the URI that was accessed that led to this method being called. So if you look at URI info, you look at some of the methods here, you see there's a method to get the absolute path. There's a method to get the base URI and a lot more convenient methods. There's a path segment, which splits the segments of the path into a list. So you have all these handy stuff. So you see there's a query parameters over here. So you don't know what query parameter to access. Just get this and you get a map and you can loop through the map and see what are the query parameters that were sent. Um, you also have path parameters over here. You're not sure what are the path parameters, you can actually loop through and get the path parameters. So a lot of handy stuff. Uh, what I'm gonna do is access the get absolute path, right? And I'm gonna convert it to a string so that I can print it. Now I can print the path here. And uh, let's see if we can access the path in the response. Okay, so I'm gonna access the URL slash inject demo slash context. If I hit send, there you go, I get the complete path. So this is uh, a set of handy methods that you can get just by using this URI info instance. And the way to have Jersey prepare this instance and send it to us is by just annotating it with the add context. There's one more um, context 
uh, instance that Jersey can send for us that I want to showcase here, which is the header information. So I can use one more context annotation. I accept a special class, another special class called HTTP headers. HTTP headers is again from the same core package. Now HTTP headers, as you can guess, gives you header information, just like URI info gives you the URI information. So if you look at the methods uh, in this instance, well, you have get all the accepted uh, media types, you have the cookies, you have the date, uh, you have the request header, you have a lot of good stuff. So I'm gonna just access cookies. Now this returns, I think, a map, and I'm just gonna convert it to a string just for the purpose of demonstration here. And I'm just gonna print it out. Let's see if this works. Well, there you go. We get the cookies with the name and the value being hello. So this is uh, another quick way to get the information around the request if you're not really sure what you're looking for. And if you're really sure what you're looking for and you just want one particular value, I think an annotation is a great way to do it. Now, if you want this kind of a way to access your parameters, and you're also worried that this is gonna be a huge amount of annotations and you don't like it, you don't wanna use that context just because you don't like uh, the number of annotations. There's actually a third way to access these parameters, and that's using something called a bean param. Now the way bean param works is you create a separate bean which has all these annotations, and then in your resource class, you don't include all these annotations one after the other, right? You just say bean param and you accept that bean. And what Jersey's gonna do is, it's gonna look at that bean and see what are the parameters that you're interested in. And if there are parameters available, then it's gonna use it. So I'm gonna demonstrate that not with the inject demo resource, but with the message resource. Now you see here, there is a get messages method which has three query parameters. Let's say I don't like this. I wanna make this simpler. So the way to do this is using bean param. And I'm gonna create a separate class for that and uh, take it from there. So I'm gonna create a class called message filter bean. And I'm gonna put this in a separate packet and then beans. Now in this bean class, I'm gonna use these values, right? I'm just gonna copy these with the annotations and I'm gonna create member variables out of them. So it's not the annotations to the method arguments, I actually have three member variables in this class and they have been annotated with query param. So I'm gonna make them private and uh, I'll create getters and setters. Okay, so now I have a filter bean, which has these three parameters and getters and setters, right? Now what I can do is in the message resource, I don't have to use these annotations and these things anymore. So what I do is I use this bean param annotation instead and I accept an instance of the message filter bean. Now, let me import this. Now what Jersey is gonna do is, it's gonna see, okay, this is the filter bean that he, the user is looking for, so it's gonna inspect the request for all these different things that the bean is looking for and it's gonna create this instance and send it to us. So now to access the year, what I need to do is filter bean dot get year. I hope this is making sense. Now to access the start time, the start location, I do filter bean dot get start and for the size I do filter bean dot get size. And of course, I need to send the same thing. Uh, 
Okay, so this is one way to do this. If if you want to do this, if you feel that this list is getting too unwieldy, then this kind of makes it short and sweet. So this is the third way to access your uh, request parameters in Jersey and JaxRS. In the next tutorial, we're going to move on to the next API in our Messenger app, Comments. See you then, and thanks for watching.